you signed me up for career week? What were you thinking? That it's an internship for the Sweet Valley Tribune. You spend your whole life reading the sports section. Yeah, reading it, not writing it. Make way for the newest star of the fashion world, Jessica Wakefield. Apprentice extraordinaire to Dante. The clothes designer? That's great. Well, it's only a matter of time before I have my own line of clothing, cosmetics, and perfume. Delusions by Jessica Wakefield. Jess, fashion design is hard work. This is something I really want to do. It isn't just an internship. It may be the start of my career. Slay me with a spatula. Throw me in a pit of sauerkraut. Exfoliate my skin with lard. What's with you? I have to waitress at the Moon Beach Cafe. My father made me sign up. He worked his way up from dishwasher to millionaire, and he thinks I don't know about hard work. Now that is ridiculous. I mean, if getting your frizzy hair to look halfway decent isn't hard work, I don't know what is. It's not that I don't have a good work ethic. I just despise manual labor. Hey, at least you get to see all your friends there. Oh, this is so humiliating. Just thinking about the polyester uniform is making me break out in hives. Why don't you try pleading with your father? Cry, throw a tantrum, you know. Believe me, I did, and he wouldn't budge. He's opening a chain of Fowler Grill restaurants, and he thinks I need work experience. Lila, think of it as an opportunity to learn something. Sure, you'll learn how to ask. Would you like fries with that? There's so much going on here. Forgive the chaos. We're preparing our collection for the fall show next week. This shoe's very important for Dante. He's going to sell his line to Japan. This is so exciting for me. I mean, I've always wanted to work in fashion. Well, here's the golden opportunity to show your stuff. No, thank you. I don't drink coffee. No, dear. I'd like an espresso with a lemon peel. You know, uh, that skirt you're wearing is adorable. Who's the designer? I designed it myself. And I have all kinds of other ideas for skirts and jackets and vests. Terrific! We encourage go-getters around here. Now, go get me an espresso. Virgil and I look forward to seeing more of your creations. Don't be Virgil. And after you finish the floors, you can give Virgil a flea dip. Oh. Lila, I've been waiting a half an hour for my ice cream sundae. It's cooking, all right? Think could you clear these dishes away? My nails aren't dry yet. We're out of here. Fifty cent. Hey, how do you expect me to pay for my full body seaweed wrap with lousy tips like this? Excuse me, miss, but I ordered chili cheese fries. Honey, with your thighs, I'd say a salad's in order. This internship is so awesome. The arts editor asked me to review Dream Girls. <laughs> Reported on a bikini pageant's my kind of journalism. <laughs> What's so funny? I have news for you, Todd. Dream Girls is not a bikini pageant. It's a musical comedy about three struggling singers from Detroit. You mean I have to write about a stupid musical? It's a really touching story told through song and dance. Shoot me now. It's not as bad as mine. They assigned me to write about hockey. I wish I had time to play therapist, but I've got work to do. Dante wants to look at all my designs. I'm off to the studio. Ciao. Oh, you can deliver those wieners to that poor excuse for a waitress. The one with the dishpan face. Hey, give her a break. She looks great to me. Some people are just so rude. Oh, her? She was raised by a pack of hyenas. <laughs> My name's Heath. I'm here with the me. So I see. I'm Lila. It's nice to meet you, Lila. I'll just bring the food around back. What's your hurry? What? There. Strawberry shake on the house. That's great. Really? Thanks. It's refreshing to see somebody that takes pride in their work. I always say a job worth doing is a job worth doing well. That is so clever. Did you just make that up? 
You're funny. <laughs> Finally, a girl in Sweet Valley that's not totally stuck up. You know, most of the kids out here think that the world should be handed to them on a silver platter. <laughs> Tell me about it. They don't know what it's like to work for a living. Yeah, I pity them, you know? They don't know what it's like to kick back after a hard day and put their feet up. Listen to some opera. You like opera? That's amazing. I can always tell a romantic. Um, would you like to go to the opera with me? Say, tomorrow night? I'd love to. Then I'll pick you up at your house at, um, 7. My house? Well, I'm going to be working late tomorrow night, so you can just meet me there. Hey, Lila. There's a long red hair in my chili. So floss with it! Good customers are so hard to find. I'm off the studio to work on my designs. I want them to be perfect when I show Dante. Wow, you're really taking this internship seriously. Liz, I feel like I found my calling. I mean, Dante's so brilliant. I have so much to learn from him. look like a million bucks. Yeah, this, I borrowed it from a rich friend. I thought we were going to the opera. We are. I couldn't afford to bring you to the opera, so I decided to bring the opera to you. This is one of my favorite spots. It's beautiful. Madame, for starters, we have the Caesar salad, then a Tuscan rosemary chicken, and for dessert, chocolate cake. This feast must have cost you a fortune. Actually, I made it all myself. You see, I'm a chef. Or I should say I'm going to be a chef someday. I had no idea. Well, I don't plan on driving a meat mobile for the rest of my life. I've been working my way through cooking school at night. Mm. Well, anyone who can make Tuscan chicken that tastes this authentic is destined for greatness. You've been to Tuscany? Oh, yeah. Every summer I hear about what great chicken they have over there in Tuscany. You seem to know a lot about food. My father worked as a dishwasher in a restaurant. He used to bring home scraps. Must have been rough. Well, we got by. With your appreciation of fine dining, you could turn the Moon Beach into a gourmet restaurant. Me? Sure, why not? I want you to take the rest of this home. No, really, I couldn't. It's, I insist. It's for your family. Lila. I've never met anybody that I've had so much in common with before. from Tokyo today just for the show. So let's make sure we get the champagne over to his hotel. His order could give us a wonderful foothold in the Asian market. I'm sure he'll place a huge order. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me, Jessica? Your fall collection. I think it's beautiful. Don't you have some mopping to do? I've already mopped the floors, sorted the threads, ironed the clothes, and made a round of espresso for everyone. So, since I finished all my intern duties, 
I was wondering if you could look at a jacket design I've been working on. I'm sure he's too busy to look no, at no. any of yours. No, I'm never too busy for my talented young apprentice. It's not quite finished yet, but here's my design. Brocaded lapels. Double stitching. Hmm. You don't like it? Oh, no, no, it's absolutely wonderful. You really think so? Well, wonderful, that is, for an amateur. But you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, then blah, 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 blah. But for now, stick to making espresso. You have quite a talent for it. Thanks. Jessica, I wonder if you could take this champagne over to Mr. Mariaki's hotel before dinner. I don't want him to miss it. Sure. Take this to the pattern cutter immediately. I don't want Mr. Mariaki to miss this. One duck sausage with couscous and one curry chicken with polenta. I ordered pork and beans. I want a chicken nuggets. I've added some new items to the menu. Educate your taste buds, boys. What's with her? More importantly, what's a polenta? Lila, very impressive. Well, I always say, a job well done is a job that you do. When you're doing a job. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Look, I'm afraid that um, hobnobbing with the working class is starting to rub off on you. Bruce, kiss my grits. This guy is everything that you're not. He's passionate, ambitious. Blue collar. So? Does this salami driver know who you are? He thinks I'm a struggling waitress. Yeah, well, he's gonna find out you're rich sooner or later. He's poor. Not stupid. Lila, you're gonna have to tell him the truth. Right now, the truth is one luxury I can't afford. Hey, Diva. Keith, I was thinking about our conversation the other night, about how you want to be a chef. Yeah. Well, I have this friend that's opening a chain of restaurants, and they need a chef. And I told him all about you. He'd take a chance on a meat delivery man. This guy would do anything for me. Your appointment is tomorrow at 3. Hey. Buy yourself a new shirt and tie. I can't take your money, Lila. You worked too hard for it. Believe me, I hardly worked at all for this. Consider it an investment in your future. Lila, you're incredible. How can I thank you? Get the job. Artis, I told you we need this jacket completed for the show tomorrow. It's gonna be in the show? I can't believe this. Dante's gonna use my design. You must be mistaken, Jessica. That's my design. You're not serious. The jacket is exactly like the sketch I showed you the other day. It was on that desk. Mona, you saw it. Funny, uh, I don't recall. You're a very good intern, Jessica. But your memory does play tricks. I spent days designing that jacket. You're stealing from me! Be realistic, darling. Look at the details. The brocaded lapels. The double stitching. This could only be a Dante original. Why, what? What are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. How'd your interview go? I put that jerk in his place. What? That creep Fowler is upstairs talking about you like you're his girl. He's even got pictures of you all over his office. Uh, but you don't understand. I'm not stupid, Lila. I know you're not getting all those hundred-dollar bills and the fancy clothes from working at the Moon Beach. You're getting money from Mr. Sugar Daddy upstairs in his ritzy office. Now, maybe that's how you used to get by. But you don't have to do anything ever again for that rich sleaze bag. Heath, that rich sleaze bag is my father. That no talent fraud stole my jacket design. What are you talking about? Dante. I show him my sketches.